Oh, man. Beard's getting a little bit puffy. I might have to take this down a notch. It's getting a little, get, little bit out of control. Welcome back, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paul Barger. Uh, thank you for coming back and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, there's a huge, huge wave of new subscribers that have come to my channel. So welcome, everybody, for coming over and hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn the notifications bell on. Uh, you'll catch my live streams, and uh, you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. Duh. Everybody knows that. But, anyways, uh, I'm just going old school here. Me, a camera, and... Uh, that's it, you know, um, no fancy tricks, I'm just going to talk to you guys, tell you guys what's going on in my life right now, and um, how things are going. So, right now, I am in Oregon. Uh, I found a nice little tiny town in Oregon where I'm going to be staying for probably about two weeks, maybe a little bit longer than that. Um, but a lot of pro progress is going to happen on my truck then. I picked up a bunch of... Uh, cabinets out of a dumpster and uh, you can see the video about that I'll link it above but the um, I gotta install that in my kitchen as you can see that's my kitchen area and there's nothing in it it's just empty so all the cabinets are gonna be going up I'm putting in a countertop um, and I'm getting my kitchen put together so um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of building and also I ordered a uh, refrigerator slash freezer it's both I can change it to whatever I want so it's small it's a small little countertop uh, refrigerator freezer it's a front opening door which I like and it's only 1.4 cubic feet so it's really little I think it's gonna be on the countertop of my kitchen um, but I'm getting my kitchen and bathroom area together I'm gonna post a link to the Avanti uh, refrigerator that I just purchased now it's convertible so it has a dial you can dial it as cold or as warm as you'd like it and it is a small countertop unit that has a front opening door it's not a chest style um, it is 110 so it's I believe it said that it's 185 watts um, I have a 300 watt power inverter so it should run that with no issue. I'm thinking I'll be able to run it night and day, no problem. Uh, I'm going to focus on producing ice at first. I always just want to produce ice, and then I'll have a separate cooler to keep things cool. Um, aside from that, yeah, it'll be, it'll be pretty basic. Okay, so he, let's break this down. Let's break down this refrigerator situation. People are like, why don't you get a refrigerator? Well, then you can't make ice. So, why don't you get both? Why don't you get a refrigerator and a, you know, two-in-one? Well, I looked at those, and if I want to produce a lot of ice, the refrigerator, sec the freezer section is little. It's a little tiny thing up there. Um, so, I couldn't produce very much ice with that, and um, the refrigerator is, part is much bigger. <clears throat> and, I don't know, I just didn't have any... As far as keeping things refrigerated, I don't think I have much need for it. Um, I could either keep it frozen or I could keep it cool with ice, you know? So my idea is I'm going to have a freezer that makes ice and I'll be able to store frozen stuff in there. Why don't you get an ice maker? Well, I can't store frozen stuff in an ice maker. With a freezer, I could store frozen stuff, I can make ice, and I can keep things cool all day with just a small freezer. So I found a tiny little freezer. It's 1.4 cubic feet. I'll put the Amazon link to this freezer fridge um, in the description below. I think it's gonna be a really good low cost option to one of those eight, $900 Dometic um, style refrigerators. I just didn't really want one of those. I didn't, I don't know. I just never really wanted, I didn't really want a refrigerator of any kind. So now I've bit the bullet. I got a little tiny one, 1.4 cubic feet. So what I have here, this is my bread truck office. It's kind of cluttered with some stuff right now. This right here is cabinets I'm going to be putting up in my kitchen. This right here is foam board that I'm going to be insulating that wall with. So I have building materials on board. 
I have uh, my checklist of things that have to get done up there. It's all written out. Everything that I can think of that I need to get done here is written up there. It's about 16 items, maybe 17, 18 items. But, um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. But um, this is my office in my bread truck. And I'm setting this up as a confessional booth kind of thing. Not all of my videos coming up are going to be very complex. It may be me sitting down in front of this camera and telling you guys what's up. So, um... This is kind of like, remember back in the days of Real World on MTV and Road Rules, they would make him go into the confessional and talk into the camera for like, I don't know, 10 minutes a day or 20 minutes a day? That's kind of what I have this set up as. Um, my office here is like my confessional, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to post videos a lot more consistently with you guys, so there's going to be a lot of stuff coming in the next month. Uh, I'm going to try to do a video every other day at least. Maybe every every day. I don't know. I can't come into every day. That's so much. But we'll see. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get going. I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick. Let you know what's going on in my life. And throw up this simple, quick, confessional style video. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Welcome all my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. You guys rocked it. I'm up to almost 2,700 subscribers at this time. So... Thank you so much, guys. Looking to forward to 3,000, and I'm going to get up out of here. Goodbye. See ya.